Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town and everything you need to get through the winter, including rock salt. They have the lowest prices in the New York City tri-state area. The website is omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. Christmas is coming, so get a move on if you want your home decorated or you're doing this as a business. 631-957-5106, liholidaylighting.com is the website. So we're going to update you now on what's going on here in the Northeast. And uh, it, it appears that uh, the uh, upper low that was swinging uh, into the eastern part of the U.S. is doing its thing. And uh, it has pretty much unified itself with the coastal storm that started out off the Georgia coast and moved northeastward. And you can see how well defined that uh, it is on the satellite. Uh, the center is sitting right about here. Now it's pretty far offshore. And usually, were it not for a situation like this, where you have a blocking pattern and a strong upper low that got involved, we probably would have seen very little of it. Uh, probably would have dry air on the west side, but instead uh, we've got the upper low uh, that of course created the big rains that we saw overnight and this morning. And now, if you take a look at the loop, you can see the clouds are beginning from the ocean storm are starting to arc back west and west southwestward. And while many areas are now uh, not raining, uh, the rain will be coming back. Uh, we also, by the way, we're starting to see the energy from the next storm system moving eastward, and that is going to be for the end of the week. So at least so once we get through today and tonight, we'll get a two day break before the next round of rain shows up. Now let's look at the radar and you're beginning to see the pivot that is happening here. Uh, the echoes from the ocean are moving pretty much northwestward. And also the back edge of the rain, which moved its way up from the south has no, stopped making northward progress. And this is because the coastal low is beginning to get involved and starting to push everything back uh, to the west and southwest. If you look southeast of southeastern New England, these echoes here, uh, they're kind of moving uh, in a northwest to west-northwest direction. So that counterclockwise loop of that storm offshore will start to bring this rain back uh, southwestward. So look for the rain to fill back in over the next four or five hours uh, in eastern Long Island, for example, and over Connecticut. It, it's just going to be, and also over in southeastern New England, it's pretty much going to be continuous as far as the rain is concerned. Starting to see some showers backing southward now across northern Pennsylvania and moving south of Route 80 and heading toward Route 78. So places in southeastern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey, for example, you're going to be seeing those echoes coming in from the northwest. So we still got some work to do here. The rainfall amounts in general, I haven't seen a report yet from Mount Holly as far as the rainfall amounts uh, that occurred in southern New Jersey and in eastern and southeastern Pennsylvania. But, but uh, Upton, uh, on Long Island for at NWS New York City has reported some rainfall amounts in general two to four inches in most areas some spots a little bit higher some spots a little bit lower when you go to their website if you pull up the list just be sure you check the timestamp because uh, if uh, the rainfall amount rainfall measurement was taken say at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. Uh, you still have a couple of other a couple of hours to add to it and plus we're going to probably wind up getting another half inch to an inch or even a little bit more from the moisture that is coming back uh, to uh, from the northeast to the southwest. And you can see it pretty well on today's NAM model. I'm uh, starting this out at, uh, this is actually for, to I have the map for tomorrow morning. So let's just go backwards here. And you actually can see what, what happens overnight. Uh, starting from the first frame here, which was at 10 o'clock this morning. And remember, this is the NAMS presentation of the radar. So the reality uh, may be different, a little bit different. It's, it's actually fairly close. 
But you see what happens here. This is at two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, 15 min uh, minutes ago. Uh, we uh, see that area on eastern Long Island not moving, and we just saw that on the radar. The, the, the southern edge is no longer pushing northward, and now you see that coastal low making its way northwestward, and it's going to do a counterclockwise loop, and there's all the rain that comes back uh, from the northeast to the southwest. Now, this rain should not be as heavy as what we experienced during the nighttime and morning hours. There might be a few heavier bands in there. I would be shocked to see it be torrential, uh, but you certainly could see some moderate to occasionally heavy rain as some of these ocean bands come in. Now we're at 5 a.m. Wednesday morning, and at this point, the low is starting to move southward. The rain is beginning to dry up. The winds are turning northeast and northerly, and then, of course, the low uh, moves southeastward and then eastward and goes goodbye. Uh, the uh, issue of the wind, again, just want to emphasize, winds are going to be picking up, but the tightest gradient is right off of southeastern New England. And you can see it there. The isobars are all tightly packed in here, right in there. Uh, that's where you're going to see winds of 50 to 60 miles an hour uh, in gusts, maybe even a little bit higher. I think you'll see some gusts to 40 or 50 miles an hour moving over the east end of Long Island, southeastern Connecticut and Rhode Island. But going further west, the isobars are spread out a little bit more. So the gradient is a little more relaxed. Yeah, there'll be some wind gusts into the 20s and 30s. Might even see the odd gust to 35 or 40. I would be surprised if it winds up being higher than that. And uh, the other uh, upside, if there's been one upside through all of this is that it didn't, didn't happen a week ago when we had a full moon. Uh, we are in between the moon cycles. Uh, the uh, tides are at their low end of the tide cycle. So that has kept coastal flooding down. And I think that is a, you know, that's a big plus. Uh, we are going to see uh, any type of coastal flooding of consequence, maybe some minor coastal flooding in more susceptible areas. And of course, once the winds go around to the north, which they do tomorrow uh, during the night uh, and, and into tomorrow morning, the coastal, coastal flood issue for the south shore of Long Island and for New Jersey is pretty much done. For the north shore of Long Island, there might be some minor coastal flooding at the high tides going into Wednesday because of the winds blowing from the north, northeast, or from the north. So then the low pulls out, and I'm just going to widen out so we could just quickly do uh, a look at the system, the next system coming up for the end of the week. Now, it's a little bit different. There's a lot of energy here. But And there's a high up to the northeast. We've got this onshore flow. This clouds, I think, are going to be stubborn tomorrow. Uh, Thursday might be a day where we start out. There's enough drying Wednesday night. Maybe we start Thursday with a little bit of sun, but then clouds will roll back in. And then low pressure uh, heads across the Tennessee Valley. It's kind of like a giant arm, really, of rain that comes up from the south. Uh, we'll jump to the, G the uh, new GFS run. And you'll see it there. Uh, it, it, it's, it looks to me like this will be about a six-hour period of rain and some heavy downpours that comes through later Friday afternoon uh, into Friday evening. And then it moves on up into New England during Friday night. And the problem for the weekend is that we have the upper features still to deal with. And that means that we'll have clouds and lingering showers on Saturday Maybe some slow improvement, but still some showers lingering around on Sunday. So uh, there are going to be uh, some issues for the weekend. Uh, but the worst of the day of the next system is going to be for later Friday. Uh, by Friday afternoon, we've got rain in Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, some heavy rains there into southern New Jersey, uh, moving up uh, into uh, the New York City area, northeastern PA by evening. And then by 1 a.m., 2 a.m., it's just about gone, although there's still some showers around Saturday morning, and then it goes away. So uh, in this particular instance with the system for the end of the week, I don't think we're going to be dealing with a wrapped-up coastal low, mainly because of the fact of what's going on upstairs. And I'll just leave you with this. Uh, you'll you notice, you take a look at this, and here's, here's the situation right now. And there's the upper low cutting off and moving off the New Jersey coast. If you look up in eastern Canada, there's a big blocking high there. That's a closed high that's sitting east of Hudson Bay. The upper low can't go northeast, so it goes underneath it. 
With the second system, the same thing would happen except for the fact that the blocking high is shifting eastward into Labrador and weakening and moving out. So now this system has more of a chance to lift up to the northeast, and, and that's exactly what it does. And as it does so, it goes from this wrapped up strong upper air storm on Friday afternoon uh, to more of an open wave that lifts on up to the northeast. And then after that, we'll just wait for the next trough uh, to drop in. And that probably won't happen until maybe the middle part of next week. So we'll catch a break. So get ready. Bit of a break going on in most areas right now. Another round of rain coming with some heavier downpours in there for late this afternoon and continuing uh, through a good part of tonight. Weather in 5, which was weather in 10 today, brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106. The website is liholidaylighting.com. Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com, the website. There's the uh, last look at the radar. We still have flash flood watches up. We have high wind warnings up for eastern Long Island and for southeastern New England. And the Joe and Joe Weather Show will go through all of that, recap what's happened, and we'll also look ahead at what's going to happen. That's tonight on my YouTube channel at 730. So we'll see you then.